Jupyter X WordPress theme review by Rankia. In this video session, we're going to explore the premium WordPress theme called Jupyter. Available as a premium theme from Theme Forest, Jupyter Elementor multipurpose theme is a powerful theme. Should you decide to use it, then once you make your purchase at Theme Forest, simply download all files as well as the license key. Then here's what you get. Once you download the zip folder, you can extract it. And the main package actually includes two different themes. One is Jupyter X that uses Elementor page builder. And the other one is Jupyter version 6. Artbees have started with Jupyter version 6, but now in 2022, they also have Jupyter X theme. So we're going to see how to use this theme to quickly set up a website. So once you download the folder, here's how to install it. You log into your WordPress dashboard under themes, simply upload theme, select the Jupyter X version 2 zip format, select open, then install now, and then activate it. If you're using DreamHost, you have to one click installs and install your WordPress if you haven't done so. Yeah, once the Jupyter X theme is activated, here is what you get. As we can see, it has a dashboard. We can insert custom snippets. And the best part is Jupyter X allows you to build your own web pages. But if you're thinking, you know what, I need to set up a website quickly, then Jupyter X theme gives you very powerful pre-made websites that you can explore and quickly install. So I'm going to actually do that for you just to show you how simple it is to set up a website. Surely you can explore different categories. Let's imagine you want to create an e-commerce site using Jupyter X theme. Then select shop and then simply browse through the pre-made templates because then perhaps it will be much quicker and easier for you to have a great looking website that you can start selling your products. For you to be able to install pre-made templates, what you need to do is actually register your license key. And the easiest way to do that is let me actually revoke this license key just to show you now as we can see initially we'll have our license setting status not active let's register the license we can provide our email and the purchase code that comes from theme forest so you can place the purchase code and your email of your theme forest account and register Jupyter X if you want. But I tend to think, you know what? It's actually easier to register the product using the API key. So I'll show you that option as well. Let's insert the API key. For you to be able to do that, you simply log into Artbees account because you've purchased the key. Then you provide the purchase code from Theme Forest, as in license purchase code. Then create a new API key. So this is all blurred out because I have many different license keys and websites that's using Jupyter X theme and Jupyter version 6 as well. So let's copy that. Let's paste the API key. 
let's submit. And now we have registered our Jupyter X theme. Because right now I have access to pre-made website templates. So let's quickly do that. Now, affordable laptop repairs.com.au will be created for different purposes. So since it is related to laptops, let's just select that as in search the template directory. And I can actually preview. Let's preview this one. Uh, if I think, you know what, I actually like this. Then I can use that. Or let's imagine this one. Let's preview this one. Browse around. Press on F12 on your keyboard. Look at the mobile responsiveness of the theme to see, okay, you know what? How does it look on mobile devices? Because that's important for Google rankings. Now, once you're happy with it, you can actually download the PSD file if you want to perhaps modify things as well, as in change the way things work. So I won't cover that, but rather select import for mobile repair. Here it's saying, okay, you know what? Okay, we've created pre-made websites, but you need to be thoughtful in terms of copyright issues. To speed up the process of web design, it's maybe smart to full import include all the media whether it's videos images and so on because later on as you're creating the website you can then change it let's actually press import and it's gonna double check things let's press yes you know what create the website for me basically is what we're doing here as in dummy data dummy pages dummy contact forms, and all that stuff. Now, while that's going on, let's imagine you're creating an e-commerce site. You think, hmm, I like this particular template. Let's imagine that's the case. Then what you can do is go to your pages, your posts, and whatever the dummy content has been installed, you can actually delete all of them, remove the trash, delete the folder, same as true with the blog posts, move everything to trash and then restart the process to importing ready-made websites. Okay, so that's a, an option for you to consider if you're not familiar with creating websites. Now the dummy content has been downloaded and installed. Let's go and see how the website is looking like now. As you can see, it only took three, four clicks and I have a WordPress site that's, that just requires my modification. Okay, surely these images are not ours. That means I need to change all that stuff, right? But now with Jupyter X, we have added with Elementor. Let's press on that as in edit the page. And if you end up seeing things like this, let's actually do that. Regenerate file, uh, re recreate the kit. Let's refresh. And now we have a powerful page builder called Elementor to further edit our website. Let's imagine we wanna change that. We wanna add new sections, whatever that is on that dummy web page, we can modify it. Let's imagine I want to um, grab this, put it somewhere here, put this here, and so on. Now, I'm not going to cover how to create web pages or websites using the Elementor plugin, but rather show you it is a straightforward process should you end up using Jupyter X WordPress theme. Keep in mind, that the theme comes with the basic Elementor plugin. Although you can still modify things, you know, edit the site-wide header and so on, it is still limited in terms of 
what Elementor Page Builder plugin allows you to do. Let's imagine I want to add a gallery. Let's see it in action. Let's imagine Flipbox and so on. Some things are not available by the, the basic plugin. We need to get Elementor Pro if we want to take full power, full control of Elementor plugin. But once we create the pages using the dummy data, let's imagine our contact us page. We can press on edit and use the default WordPress editor. Or if the page was created with the Elementor page builder, then we need to use the Elementor page builder to modify our information here. Let's imagine I want to change the domain for that email. I can say, you know what, that's my new email. Change the address. Or if I want to add, you know, different things as in different sections, I can say, okay, let me add a new section. I can say, okay, you know what, let me make that section like so. Within that, I can say, okay, you know what, add an inner section and so on. So page builders for WordPress allow you to truly create the web page the way that you want. So, yeah, when you install Jupyter X theme, then let's look at the dashboard again. Here we've got the dashboard. We can actually build our own web pages. We can create our own headers. Let's say test header. As an example, let's create one to show you. Yeah, you may be having a new commerce site, but then you think, you know what? I want to create a blog portion, but I want the header section to be perhaps different. And so on. As you can see, the Jupyter X page builder as in layout builder is a powerful tool you can set things at global level but doing so you need to upgrade the plugin if you want to insert google tracking code and so on custom snippets is your friend all you need to do is add custom snippets give it a name add the code and so on you can even add conditions Perhaps you want to track Facebook pixels on certain pages, then you can add conditions. Okay. Let's look at settings. We've got custom post types. As we can see, tracking code, you can add it. You can add it to the head section, body, body, and save settings. Image sizes, you can change things here. And let's look at bundle plugins. Now, when you purchase Jupyter X plugin, you actually have certain plugins that, such as, let's say, WooCommerce, Sellkit. It comes prepackaged with this plugin. So, as you can see, Jupyter X premium theme for WordPress is absolutely powerful. But to take full advantage of this theme, I would suggest to you to invest. In Elementor Pro which is I think it's about 40 bucks then you have you know all the the bells and whistles so to speak in the Elementor page builder now before we close up keep in mind I recommend Jupyter theme whether it's Jupyter X or Jupyter version 6 I'll show you one of my valued clients' websites that I've developed using Jupyter version 6. The main difference is, as we can see, we've got Jupyter. The main difference is, instead of Elementor, you end up having WP Bakery, Page Builder, as in Visual Composer, to build your web pages. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, using Visual Composer is a little bit more straightforward. So if you're a beginner, you may think, you know what? I want to use the version 6. Then keep in mind, you'll be using Visual Composer. 
But if you say, no, 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 you know what? I want to use JupyterX. Then there are pre-made templates you may choose using or build your new WordPress site using the page builder, as in layout builder, header builder, if you so choose. But the quickest way to have the website is install the dummy content and then make changes as you update your website. Because as you saw, two, three clicks, I have a, a website template, so to speak, so that I can modify it according to your business or your e-commerce site. Now, do keep in mind, Rank Your Blog will maintain JupyterX theme review. So if you've got any questions, comments, use the video commenting system or visit Rank Your Blog. If you were to press on the link found in this video description or Rank Your Blog, keep in mind that I'll be getting a, a small commission if you were to click the link and then purchase Jupyter theme. Okay. Apart from that, I'll be creating more videos related to WordPress and Jupyter theme. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.